let's talk about the mobile view of our Power BI reports. I'm Allison Gonzalez. I'm Microsoft Certified Trainer here at Pragmatic Works. And throughout this series this year, we have been looking at all of the aspects of report design, lots of different things. We were considering down from the color to the layout and of course, bringing in our data. So now let's think through when people are actually viewing our report, where could they be viewing their, this report and how can we make that the best experience possible? So of course, if they're in the desktop, then our amazing layout is going to work for them. Fantastic. It's going to look great. However, if they are looking at this through the Power BI app on a mobile device or a tablet, then they're going to need to rotate that around so you can see it. And even then the ratio of a screen is not going to be the same as the ratio of that report. So they're not going to see all of it at once and they're going to have to like kind of scroll and move around. It's really not the best way to experience a report. So Microsoft has provided an option for you. You're able to create a mobile friendly layout. Really, you can pick and choose the elements that you want to go in to this mobile report. So that way, anytime someone's viewing it on a mobile device, like inside the Power BI app, it is going to be much easier for them to view. You can take out any elements that just don't make sense when they're interacting with this on a mobile device. So let's head over into the Power BI service. We're going to take a look at that report that we created all together, and we're going to see how we can modify that to look as best in the mobile view. All right, so I'm over here in the Power BI service. I have my awesome tree day stats report up and let's go into edit so we can take a look at what we're doing for our mobile view. So let's go ahead now and we're going to click on edit up here and then I'm going to go in to the mobile layout. Now here in the mobile layout, you can see I have a blank phone kind of tablet set up right here. And then I have all of the visuals that are on my page. Now I am able to pull these over in any order, any alignment, any layout that I want to make sure that this looks its best. Also, can pick and choose. I don't need to include everything in here if I don't think it makes sense. I'm going to start this off. I'm going to bring over a card visual and let's resize this so that way it's kind of filling all that in. Let's bring our other card visual in kind of right below this one. Then once we have this in place, we can pick the next visual that I want to have, which I'm going to take this top tree planting visual right here. And let's make sure, and of course you can scroll on here as much as you need to. Let's make sure that I have those same top one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten countries always showing on here. And then of course you are able to scroll on here to see the rest when you're on mobile, but I want to make sure those top 10 are showing. Then I'm going to bring over my tree map here. And let's scroll so we have a little bit more room to maneuver this and you can resize it narrow wide if you want to have maybe two next to each other maybe i want my tree map and i want this visual sitting right next to each other i could definitely do that if i wanted to now finally let's bring over the map i'm going to put this one down here and put this in make sure that takes up the full width I'll go a little bit down the length that way I can still see all the countries even with the little company notes down here at the bottom. Once you have your layout on here, I can also see anything that I have hidden or just visible sort all. I can also go here to remove all of the visuals to take them all off. If I wanted to start over again, I can also modify any of their visual settings right here in this layout. So that's how easy it is to set this up. Now, definitely if you have a very complicated report with bookmarks and a bunch of pages, a lot of things showing, this might not be the best option for you just because it's going to be really hard to recreate that same experience in a mobile view like this one 
compared to when you just have that set up in that regular layout. Now, if I wanted to get this set up prior to publishing out to the service, maybe I want to have an idea of what that layout is going to look like, any elements, things I want to adjust prior to publishing it, you are actually able to do this also in the Power BI desktop. I have my report open here in the Power BI desktop. Over here in my view ribbon, right here, I have a mobile layout button. The mobile layout is then going to give me the same option that we just saw in the service where I can maneuver anything around, put it into whatever order I want, and then I can publish this all out together at one time. I can see I could navigate through at the bottom. If I had kind of multiple pages, I could easily click through down here. So it really just depends on what part of the process you are seeing on what part of the process you are thinking through your mobile layout and where you're more comfortable doing your editing, whether that is in the Power BI service or in mobile view. Sometimes it helps to have it published out, even if you just publish it to your My Workspace, just to see how things are going to look on the Power BI app. And you can see, you know what, it's working totally fine. Everything is visible, even I might have to scroll a bit, but everything is kind of good to go. I don't really need to make a separate mobile view. Whereas, mm, this might be a little bit hard to understand or interact with or just use in this layout. So I'm going to switch it and make a mobile layout for it. Very easy to set up whether you're doing that here in the Power BI desktop. You can always go right to view and then mobile layout then just click it to go back to your regular layout, your page layout view, and you can just keep clicking to go back and forth. Or if you are doing that here in the Power BI service, where of course you can just click to web layout to get out of the mobile view and back to this default. So leave a comment below with any other mobile Power BI layout tips that you have. So let me know, do you prefer to keep your reports in your regular layout, the regular setup you've done, and just rotate your phone or tablet around to experience that a little bit better? Or do you like to make that responsive, easier to interact with, more simplified view for those mobile reports when you're looking at them in the Power BI service? So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you see all of the updates, all the new videos whenever they come out. Of course, we cover everything here on the Power platform. So not just Power BI, you'll see all the things related to Power Apps, Power Automate, and more. Also, you can sign up to take the hundreds of hours of Power BI training that we have on our on-demand learning system, and I'll have that linked for you below. Happy learning, and I will see you in the next video.